Howdy, friends. How are you today? I'm actually, um, I'm homesick today. And so I've been doing some art here. I've been working on, oh, let me turn this music down a bit. I, uh, I've been, sorry if my avatar does crazy things because I'm like working on a Wacom tablet. And it's like off to the side and yeah, so my avatar might act a little nutty here um, as I move around and do stuff. Um, I'm actually been working on this white mage robe. It's, you know, it's, this is, you know, modeled after the Heavensward version of white mage robes from Final Fantasy 14. And so if you're a Heavensward fan, you'll recognize it. But this is what I'm doing today. I have been working on this all morning. Um, this is just the first layer. This is the outer robe that I'm working on here. Um, this is what I've got so far. I think it looks pretty good, you know? I think it looks pretty good. Um, working on the sleeves now. Um, it's gonna need you know, stuff to go along with the outfit. There's going to need to be a layer, a, a skirt underneath. Um, and, you know, the white mage can't wear chucks. You know, right now she's got on these chucks. I mean, I guess, I mean, a white mage could wear chucks. And I, I, I mean, like, why not? Why not have a white mage wear chucks? But, um, so this is what I've been doing today. You can see some of the little details, you know, like the little gems and little metal accents that I've put on. Um, you know, and then at the front, there's this little, the little Florida de lis thing here. And um, this little, little, little hangy bits that are like little metal thingies and boobles. <laughs> and uh, you know the little one on the chest piece up at the top one thing that I really hate I really hate the way that the gathers look because you know I'm just not very good at drawing them and they're flat and uh, you know so I might after I get this mostly done I might 
just import it into Clip Studio um, to put the finishing touches on it because I think it would, you know, it's easier to do stuff in Clip Studio um, as far as shading and fabric effects and things like that. But so far, so good. I'm using um, a Wacom Cintiq uh, 13 HD tablet to do this and the nice thing about that is that even with the um oh whoops even with the um i didn't realize i had that turned on even with the uh what you call it the um the vroid editor you still get you can still get uh the, the like the pressure and sensitivity uh, things with the pen still work so you still get variations in thickness of your line and everything and it's it's pretty nice um, it's way nicer to work with the the native editor with a tablet than it is you know without a tablet because you know if you're trying to do this with a mouse in Vroid you know good luck uh, because it's not going to be much fun. Let's see if I can make my avatar stop acting quite as ridiculous. That's a little better. Okay. So I'm just going to continue working on this and uh, feel free to watch and uh, and hang out. If you have any questions, ask questions. Um, I'm going like, to turn this so that I can see that sleeve. I'm going to work on this little bit right there. Right now, I'm just going to pull that up here. And if you've never seen, if you don't know what this is from, I'll show you a, a picture. Hold on. I'll just show you. I'll just like slide it over into this screen here. Um, the image that I'm using as reference, which is this. This is the robe from, um, from Heaven's Word. Um, and this is just, you know, a fan art rendition of it someone who's a much better artist than me but that is what the robe looked like and you know after looking at I, I mean I kind of feel like this part might need to be a second object um, in Vroid instead of what I have it as right now but you know there it is that's the that's the reference picture um, I'm not gonna do the ruffles with the collar I'm not gonna get as crazy up here as they did I'm gonna leave it the way I've got it right now I think um, I don't want it to look too close you know because I don't know about like copyright issues <laughs> I don't know if there are issues you know um, with that but oh why is this now behaving really poorly oh let me fix it Vroy gets a little bit wacky Oh, I don't, I don't want you on this monitor. No, no, okay, there we go. Let me do this here. There we go. So now I can see that a little better. I'm just gonna work on that, on this little middle one. It looks really crappy right now, <laughs> but we'll fix that. We'll fix that. So back to the red that I was using, which is that. I'm just going to work on this little bit here. Um, with Vroid, you just kind of, the only way to really do this detail work is to kind of vary the width and opacity of your brush. And you can do pretty good with it, especially if you're using a tablet with a pen. So you can kind of get some shadowing effects and stuff you know just just by doing you know by actually drawing um, instead of you know relying on your image editing program to do all the work for you this you kind of have to do a lot of the heavy lifting yourself but um, it's easier because you can look at your model and you can see how it looks on the model in real time 
Um, and you know, when you're doing it in another editor, gosh, like I was doing stuff in, uh, in Clip Studio and I just like, I kept having to like re-import the image, you know, like I had to like swap it from one program to the other repeatedly um, to be able to, to get an idea of how it looked and where things were on the model. Um, you know, because it's hard to tell when it's, when you can't see the model itself, like where the lines are hitting on the body. Cause this is a 3d object. It's not, you know, this isn't a flat object. I mean, it's, it's a flat drawing, but it's not, it's not a flat object, which makes it a little bit more complicated, I guess, to, um, to do. My dog is outside flipping out at something. I don't know what she's barking at. There's a dog that comes from next door that's probably yours. This is the red is inset into the sleeve. So we'll kind of make it look like that. Oh, the brush gets really big. shadow onto the white too so what we want to do is we want to get there just kind of defines that edge, makes it look a little bit more realistic. That looks pretty good, looks pretty good. On the model, it looks pretty good. And I've got symmetry turned on. You know, I got the mirror turned on. So while I'm working on one sleeve, the other one is also, you know, it's doing two at once. 
I wish I could do the top and bottom at once, but they're just gonna have to be whatever. So, start from this part. I'm gonna be even darker than that to do the initial line. I have to clean it up a bit. a little bit. Mm. Okay. So this has to go all the way to the edge there. There we go. And this one has to go all the way. Wait, where's the... Okay, it's up there. This has to go Gosh, I hope it lines up. It's so hard to make it exactly line up, but hopefully it'll be all right. Clean up this one too. Now, I want to get down to the simplest possible nitty gritty. Let's see how it looks like it here. It's the bottom side of the sleeve, so it's really hard to see. I'm not going to worry too much about it because it's, it's like it's hard for me to see it while I'm drawing it. So it's probably hard for anyone to see it while she's wearing it. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't want it to look messy or anything like that, but. I'm just going to hope that it, it lines up properly. Not that wide. Good enough. Good. So, in a few minutes, I wanna. I'm gonna save this in a few minutes. I haven't saved it. <laughs> I, I've been working on this for several hours now. I really ought to take a moment um, and save my work, save my progress, just in case. Just in case something happens. Because, boy, I've been working on this for hours. It would really kind of suck if it ran away. Okay. Let's go a little bit lighter. And You can use opacity to kind of blend things together um, with this editor. You, you don't have, you really limited, you know, really limited with what tools you actually have in Vroid Studio for this, but you know. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see, let's see how this looks so far. There she is, so far. This is just the outer robe. You love your sticks and stones. You throw I think it looks pretty good. You know, I mean, I'm not a professional, but I like it. So let's check it. Let's save it. And let's take a look at in the camera at a, uh, in the camera thing to um, to see how the physics on it are. So when I do this, save as a new item. Just 
Move right. And I have the suspicion that it's gonna show up as a something weird there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, it just doesn't have a picture. But it looks pretty good. Let's take a look and, you know, I can put something underneath it. Let's edit it again. Let's edit this. I can put, I can put another out, like a dress underneath it so that we can see the details better. Let's see. Just put another, like, another robe underneath. I'll add a, I'll add a template underneath. So that I use the kimono for this, I guess, which is under tops. It's actually under tops. Or no, no, I use the long, long coat shirt color. That's the one that I used for this. So, um, I'll use this just so that we can kind of see the details there. Okay. And it, let me like edit this a little bit so that it's, um, I can turn the volume down like it's five. And more than that, I gotta turn it down a little bit more. Let's see, let's see what parameters I can, I need to make the waist smaller. That it's not clipping through okay so yeah and that's what i'll actually use the, i'll use that layer that i just added um for the underdress for the skirt that goes underneath this all right so let's take a look at it in let's take a look at it in um in the camera and see how it looks Curious how the physics on it are working. I have to fix all the sleeves and everything. I'll have to make gloves and boots to go with it. All right, so there it is. Let's um, let's look at it walking. That's not bad. I think I need to make a tail for my for my cat girl. She doesn't have a tail, um, but there's a way to do it in Vroid Studio. Like I can make her a tail with hair. You use a strand of hair and you just like kind of pull it down through their body and stick it out the backside. <laughs> oh gosh. I think it's not too bad. Not too bad so far. Looks pretty good. <laughs> there are some really strange things that Vroid Studio will do with your character. It works. It works. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to work. Back to work. All right, it looks good. I like it so far. So we'll go back to the edit texture. Oh, wait. You know what? Oh, I did save it. I saved. All right. So that's the top thing. Yeah. I don't know if I can change the... Nope, I can't. But I, you know, eventually, what I'll do to fix this problem, I should have used, I should have used the, the kimono, like, Vroid Studio has some very strange options for when you're setting things up, you know, it doesn't, 
under tops that things don't show up. Like you have more options in your templates than you do in um, in your main things. So let's go back down here. Okay, so whoa. Uh, I've got that turned off. So I think that I want to add some embellishment on these sleeves, like a little, uh, like a little red gem and a metal bit at the top on at least this part here. And then I'll work on the underneath part, the underdress part. Pull this back down to this part here. And a little bigger. So let's see. Let me look at this here first, actually. I'm going to sample these colors from this. picky if it's not super precise. It's harder to do these on the side like this. And I don't have any symmetry. Oh, let me use the soft brush. That's usually better. A little more opacity. There. All right. Well, no, no, I'm not gonna use the eraser actually. I'm just gonna use white around the outside. down a little bit so it's more of a blending effect. That's pretty good. I'm gonna soften the outer edges of it a bit. Okay. 
looking good. Let's see. Draw a little bit of a little bit wider. It's not that big. Small brush, not that small. Uh Add in a little, a little Lord of Lee thing here on either side. That's okay. I don't like the one on the other side though. Okay. I'll fix it. That'll be good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's hand drawn, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close enough. I forgot to turn mirror on. Oh god. No. Ugh. Oh well, we'll have to Ugh. We'll have to do another one over on the other side. Let's see. Let's do it like this. I'm just gonna try to mimic what I did here. I can at least get the shape and the position the same. Always remember to turn on mirror or you'll find yourself being very sad. side we go. I might turn, I want to turn off mirror now because I don't want it to mess up what I've already got. Sample colors. Welcome. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. God, I do need to stretch. Jeez. <laughs> I, 
I'm like lurking over this tablet. Ugh, working on this. How are you doing today? I had remembered to turn mirror on. You can tell, you can tell from my, from my avatar, I'm just like, punching down over the thing. It's true. Whoops. I hope you're doing alright. I'm homesick today. I was not feeling well. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just kind of... Maybe I'm just a little run down from the holidays and from all the excitement of school ending and... The school that my husband works at has been, um, is closed for the next five days though because there are so many teachers and staff out sick with COVID that they don't have enough adults to keep the kids safe at the school like there aren't enough adults to supervise all the children that's how many teachers are sick so they're closing the school for five days to hope and you know in the hopes that things will calm down <laughs> we'll see and i'm just hoping that you know i don't have the the rona uh i don't think so if i do it certainly is a mild case and i guess i could thank my vaccine for working but Not feeling great today. But that seemed like a good day to do art. It usually takes my mind off of things. And I was challenging myself to do this white mage robe. not going to look as good as the other metal bits did, but oh well, whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Turn that up a little bit. I think that looks okay. Take a look. Let's see how she looks. Yeah, it looks fine. Good enough. Oh, I think I need to clean that up a little bit. I see where that is. There's a little blip right there. Cleaned up. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here. You know what I want to do though? I actually want to. Bring this gem down here a little bit. Let's 
There we go. That looks better. All right. That looks pretty good. Now I have to think about what I want to do for that skirt underneath. I'm not sure what I want to do for boots and gloves. Um, let's see here, this thing, the sleeves need to be shorter, the underdress, the sleeves are too long. Can I make the sleeves short? Where's the weight? I don't think I can make these sleeves shorter. Oh wait, sleeve longer. Oh wait, there it is. There we go. Pull those up in. There we go. All right. So that sleeve is up. on the other thing now the underneath this one <sighs> hey how are you doing Ella Clover thanks for coming to the channel did Drex tell you that you had to follow his mom's channel or else <laughs> black loves black boots black skirt <laughs> well Okay, so this is a thing. I, I'm going to show you the reference picture quick. This is, um, what I'm working on is actually, I'm kind of reproducing the white mage robes from Heaven's Word expansion of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and here I'll show you what the, the original kind of looks like. This is someone's fan art, but this is the robe. Um, you know so I'm trying to kind of reproduce this on a Vroid model <laughs> which is you know a little challenging but you know I wanted to challenge myself to do something fun and so this is how far I've gotten <laughs> and it's not bad I, I, I've actually kind of you know I, I feel like it's not too bad. It looks pretty good so far. So. Pretty true to life. Except that my cat girl doesn't have a tail. I'm going to have to figure out how to give her a tail. Ugh, that means I'll have to play with the Vroid hair editor. Oh god. And it's really annoying. <laughs> That's like the worst part of everything in Vroid Studio. I would like rather all day long um, edit stuff with the texture editor rather than mess with the hair editor. Right, I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. I'm actually just gonna, uh, let's see. So this, I wanna make this longer. Let me, whoops. Let me turn that back on again. Actually, I'm going to turn that back on for a minute because I want to make this skirt longer. It's too short. It needs to be longer. Skirt a little bit longer. I want it to not be the same length, just like slightly shorter, like right there. All right. Perfect. Now, basically, I'm going to erase everything above her waist, just like right there. Oh, just going to turn on the eraser. 
I'm gonna erase all of the stuff above her waist. I don't need the parameters though. I need the eraser and this, the hard one. I'm gonna get a bigger brush. Bigger brush, much bigger brush. So we're just gonna kind of blip it out, out of existence. It doesn't exist. Oh, and she's gonna look so weird because there's a skin mask on. <laughs> he mentioned it last night. <laughs> You're gonna be getting ready to leave to do an errand. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, you know, I got a new tablet. Well, okay, so what happened is that my husband got a new drawing tablet and he gave me his uh, Wacom Cintiq 13. And so, and I discovered that because yeah, I had a Wacom tablet, but it was one of the ones that doesn't have a screen. It just, you know, was like the, you know, where you kind of like have to look at the screen of your monitor and kind of, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that at all. And, um, and so I was really having a hard time doing stuff with the old Wacom tablet. Um, but he gave me this one and I have discovered that I can I can actually draw on a tablet. Whereas before I was having a very difficult time drawing on a tablet. I appreciate you coming by. Always welcome. Always welcome to lurk or whatever. Let's see. I don't know where that is. There's some it's, I miss, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be underneath. I just wanted to get rid of that. I'm going to fix the skin mask though because that's kind of freaky. Wait, I want to drop, make it white. Whatever. Oops, nope. There. White. She still has an undershirt on, <laughs> which is kind of strange. There, yeah, at least she doesn't look naked now or look invisible. Like, you know, you can't, can't see <laughs> parts of her. That's better. Let me go back. <laughs> yeah, I really like this tablet. Um, I, I, you know, I like the other one, but I wasn't as, I wasn't really very good at, um, at the stuff on it. I just wasn't. <laughs> uh, my brain and my hand just could not get it together between there and the monitor, you know, um, not like this where it's like, this is like drawing on paper with a pencil uh, and I really like it I really I'm really having much better luck with it so I don't know that I want to do this by hand so this is my texture for this you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this and I'm gonna this is I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to try to use a brush um, in, uh, in Clip Studio. There's the underskirt. So now I can open that texture up in Clip Studio. So let's find that. It looks really weird, but <laughs> it's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this marquee select tool 
And then I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to make life easy for myself. So there's that. And I'm going to go to decoration, go to clothing. Let's find one of those brushes that I have that's... Uh, what is that one? Hmm, I don't think that's the one I want. But not that one, this one. So this is kind of an automatic, yeah, Let's see, I want it to go the other direction. I want it to go down this way. I should have done that on the thing. Oh my goodness. That's not what I want. The only problem with it is that the brush, you have to do it really fast. Like, if you don't do it fast enough, it, um... It leaves weird, like, artifacts on the thing. <laughs> I don't know. That looks okay. That looks okay. Let's just kind of, like, see how that looks. Let's blend some of the the abnormalities out of it and um, and then we'll just kind of work with it and see how it looks. It may not work. <laughs> Use the blend tool. weird little blips. You're really only going to see a small portion of this underneath, so. I should have done this for the little weird waist flounce. I suppose I still could. Because I could just, like, isolate the area and... Do it, but me. Let's see. I don't want to do two. Eh, that's fine. Good enough. Let's see. That doesn't look bad. It doesn't look half bad. Oh god. <laughs> the only problem is that I I feel like it needs to be lighter. kind of lighten some of it up. I'm really only worried about the parts that you can see. Yeah. That really matters is how it looks when it's um, when it's in the camera. Overwrite. Let's save it. See how it looks when she's like walking and jumping and doing things instead of just standing around. That looks all right.
That's all right. <laughs> and that was a whole lot quicker than me sitting there trying to draw that. And I could actually take, I can take this robe and export it and I can actually use that same technique to do the sash if I wanted to. But now that I've got all the other stuff around it drawn, uh, uh, I'm not gonna. But maybe next time I try to do something like this. <laughs> I think it looks all right. So the next thing I'm going to have to do, I'll have to do gloves and boots. Um, I might actually have some boots that I can use. I have to check. Let's see. Let's go down to shoes. Custom. Wait, I should like, let me turn off the visibility of this. Well, I guess it's okay. I'm gonna see if I... I know I've got some, like, white magey kind of boots, but I'm just gonna put some stockings on her first. She's got stockings on. And... Custom shoes. Let's see what I've got here. That's no shoes. That's just the chunky sold boots. Hmm. Let's see here. So, I'm just going to edit this texture because I might have some boots that I can use here. That's Hmm. Let's see. There's the major. Oh, wait. This is the thing, I think. Oh, that's the dress. Oh, that's boots that are white and gold. That's not going to work. Not gonna work. Because I use white and silver, and that's not gonna work. I'll just try them on and see how it looks. Let's import that. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to loop it. Oh god. That is one problem with this program. I have to fix the shoe now. Okay. So, let's see. They're not white enough. think they're not white enough. Let me import the body part here. Level up, little rest. Wishing I'd worry a little less. Cause I got love or am I limitless? Well, she can wear them for now. That'll do for now. <laughs> well, I think that that looks pretty good. I did not make those boots. That was another person. It's the, gosh, what's his name? Like the gambling jester on Booth made those boots. It'll take me a while to like sit and figure out how to do the boots. I'm going to have to look at the ones that go with the set and see how I can work it out. And I can edit this underskirt a bit. make it match it has some there's some designs on the um designs on the skirt on the actual set so let's go back 
Shift under dresses. Edit this texture. We'll turn this part off for a few minutes. Working on there, it is. It's like a three layered dress, and that's just a bit much, but you know, I'm just going to do something in the middle. Let me mark where the middle is part that shows all right so let's see I'm gonna mark on the I'm gonna mark on the actual dress where the Where the skirt shows up, where the bits are that you can see. So I'm just gonna like this is where the that ends. This is the edge on that side, and this is the edge on the other side. There. So that's the area that I actually have to do stuff on. I don't have to do the whole thing. That's the only part that's visible. So the design that I do can be centered around that. So let's see. How do I want to do this? Passing down, let's get a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter color here. And so. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a little bloop up to there and a bloop to there. No, no, no. That's okay. To there. And then up to there. Kind of like that. I wish there was a proper undo on this. There's no proper undo button. Not that I can think, not that I can find, nope. It's a real oversight. Oh, hey, thanks for the host. Let's be more careful. Let's be more careful this time. Turn the brush opacity down. So this is my center point right there. Just kind of go down. Okay. 
kind of want to get rid of the some of this fold in the fabric there. I'll just kind of erase part of it so that we can actually see the design that I'm going to put in here. dark right there. I'm just going to kind of change the dimensions of that wrinkle there. That's okay. I might make that a little bit less intense because that's a little dark. I don't like it so dark. That's better. quite so many folds and they don't have to be quite so dark. All right. So there's that bit. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Let's zoom it in. Smaller. That's all right. Let's see what I want to do with these little bits here. Can okay, I clean them up? That's not exactly how I wanted those to look, but...
color. Just kind of pull that down. What's up? I can't see what it says from here. My don't have my glasses on. Wait, wait. Oh, jeez. No, no. <laughs> Let's see. That's not terrible. It needs a needs a bunch of work, but that'll be kind of that's kind of the idea there all right so this is going to take a bunch of work to get this looking decent but it's all, it's all good sharpen up these lines a bit White. Let's clean it up around these. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I want white. A little bit more of a white color down in here. It's a little too dark. some of this up in here. clean this up it's too thick looks too thick that looks all right clean this up you love your sticks and stones you throw them my way to make a point but i don't have hollow bones so you'll never take away my voice you used to be like home now the whole place is so destroyed And I'll survive on my own There are ways to like Set up your V-Roid model to make it look like a 2D model Which, you know, I don't know I mean, I... I feel kind of conflicted about the whole 2D, 3D thing. Um, I really like my 3D Vroid model. I think that 
her responsiveness and like good I have good face tracking and um, I think that her physics are pretty good I mean her eye tracking is nice her mouth movements are nice um, and you know you're really the 2d models are very limited in what they can do oh god I'm gonna stretch I mean, they're very pretty, though, and you can get some really nice art. But you can get some really nice art on uh, on a 3D model as well. There are people, there's, you know, some people are really snobs about their VTuber avatars. Like the only, only VTuber avatar that's worth its, its salt is, you know, an, a 2D model that you paid a whole lot of money for. Now granted, if I were to make an avatar for somebody, you know, a 3D avatar, the amount of editing and stuff that I do on these, it, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be cheap. You know, I mean, it just wouldn't be cheap. Um, I wouldn't consider it a cheap model, you know, or the cheap alternative. I mean, it might be a little cheaper, but I mean, I'd still probably have to charge a few hundred dollars, especially if I'm going to do custom clothes, you know, like this is taking me all day to do what I've done so far on this. So while it might be a cheaper option, I don't know if I would call it cheap. Anyways, that's just my two cents about it. I really like the 3D models. If they're done, if they're done well, um, they're very appealing. I also really like the fact that I can. Um, I can do it myself, you know? That's a big, that's, that's the biggest draw, really, is that I can, whoops, I can do the 3D model on my own. I don't have to hire someone to do it. Granted, I could probably do a 2D model if I really put the effort into it. It's just really, seems really difficult. <laughs> it seems really difficult. I watched a, someone rigging a model yesterday for a while and it was just intense. You know? The amount of work that it takes to get a 2D model to do stuff. Like, I don't have to rig this model. This model, I just, you know, set her up, edit her textures, and no rigging required, you know, she's ready to go. That's, that's really a big, that's a big plus. It's a big bonus in my book that she's ready to go. When I'm when I'm done, she's done. Oh, it's very cartoony. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm gonna clean up these dark lines. They're too dark. Too dark and too thick. That's that's the problem.
too small. Too big. There we go. I think there's a button on this pen that I keep bumping by accident. I don't like this one. It's not the right shape. I've got to fix it. This part. And this part. That's a little better. It's fine. I forgot to turn on the closed captions. Dang it. I'll fix that. There we go. Closed captions are on. All right. No, not that. Give me this. There we go. I'm just gonna put them up there. There we go. To look a little better. I don't really like this that much, but you know, we'll see. I might change the whole underskirt thing because I just feeling picky about it. These things are so small, you won't ever really, and you know, and you'll never really even see them because you rarely see. The lower part of the model anyway, but you know. Doesn't stop me from wanting it to look perfect. Let's see how that looks. Turn on the overdress. There it is. I think that's not terrible. Not terrible. <laughs> not not exactly how I would want it, but not terrible. Oh. Close enough for rock and roll, really. Close enough. So the real test is, you know, always looking at her in the camera. Let's go write that. All right, so let's see how it looks. Too bad. I'll have to decide if I like the underskirt or if I want to change it, but. And I do need to make her boots. Let's look at some other. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing there. It's like a roundhouse kick. 
How you like a get a roundhouse kick for me while I'm wearing these bad boys? <laughs> or is it a roundhouse kick to the face? <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. What a great movie that was. I like it for the most part. It's not done. It's still a work in progress, but I think it's pretty good so far. I really like the overdress. The overdress is pretty good. I am pleased with that. Now, if only I could give her a staff. I'm not sure. How, I mean, I'm sure that there's probably a way to give her a staff using the hair editor because that's what you use in Vroid Studio for just about anything. But, you know. I'm happy with that. Even with the dumb bow on the back, I, you know, that was just kind of like, I was getting frustrated with the gathers. And I was just like, screw this. I'm going to put a bow on it. And so I did. And it's not bad. Hey, wait, wait. Don't you need a healer for this raid? Okay, so there's a place there where her arm is clipping through, but she doesn't really do this. That pose is not really a... She raises her arms up, her shoulders clip through the shoulders of the dress, but... I think that's a... I think that's just the pose. I don't... I don't think that'll actually happen in real use. Oh, I got damaged. Look, I'm taking damage. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Here, look, that's the catwalk walk. All right. Well, that's about all I'm going to work on this for the day. And thanks to those of you who came to watch. Um, watch me draw badly. Uh, and, um, and yeah. Edit weird clothes for um, my goofy V-Roid character. Anyways. I'll be doing more art in the future. If you have an, if you have an idea for some kind of outfit that you'd like me to try to emulate in Vroid, you know, drop me a message and I'll see what I can do. Um, I'll be including more art streams in my rotation uh, in the future. You know, kind of go between art and Final Fantasy. So I'm gonna like take off for a while because I have a stream tonight of houses that I have to tour. Um, so thanks for coming anyways and have a great afternoon take care all <laughs>